In this video, I'll explain how to replace planks by NA values using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this video, I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines two to four of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data set is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data set, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data set contains six rows and three columns, which are called X1, X2, and X3. And as you can see, some of the cells in our data frame are blanks. So let's assume that we want to replace all of these blanks by an A. Then we first should duplicate our data, as you can see in line six of the code, because if we duplicate our data, we can keep an original version of our original data set. So if you run line six of the code, a new data frame is appearing at the top right, which is called data new one. And at this point, this data set contains exactly the same values as our input data set, which is called data. Now, if you want to replace all blanks in our data set, then we can apply the code that you can see in line seven. So in this line of code, I am subsetting our data set based on a logical condition. And in this logical condition, I am specifying that I want to subset all values where our data set data new one is equal to an empty character string. And then I am assigning to this subset the value an A. So if you run line seven of the code, our data set is updated and we can see that by clicking on our new data set, data new one, and then a new window is appearing. And as you can see, some of the empty cells have been replaced by an A. However, you can also see that two of the empty cells have not been replaced. And the reason for that is that these two cells contained a space. So these two cells are not blank, but they contain one single space in this cell. So let's assume that we want to replace these planks or these spaces as well. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines nine and 10. So again, I'm first duplicating our data as you can see in line nine. And then in line 10 of the code, I'm modifying our logical condition. So in the first part of the logical condition, I'm specifying that I want to extract all values that are equal to an empty character string. And then I'm telling R that I also want to extract all values that are equal to a single space. And then I'm assigning to this the value an A. So if you run lines nine and 10 of the code, you can see that a new data set is appearing at the top right, which is called data new two. And if you click on this data set, you can see that we have replaced all empty cells and all cells with one space by an A. So in this tutorial, I have explained how to exchange Planck values by an A using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.